Okay, and we're just waiting for the live stream to get going. It just went. Here we are. Hi, folks. How are you? Everything doing okay for all of you? Okay. And this is Monday. This is our little Monday program. I'm Alex Bennett of World Famous Has Been. Uh, but it's better to be a has been, I've decided over the years, than to be a never was. So, you know, I used to be a big shot. Oh, I should have done something about the uh, the redness up here. See, when I did it, as I went out, I thought I was being smart. I bought a brand new camera. And this one's much sharper. I don't know if you notice the difference where you are, but it's it's much sharper than these of the other camera was and so everything shows up the redness here the bags here the creases in my eyes on the side you see how they're there see right none of that used to show up with the old camera so maybe i'll go back to the old one go back to low def as it were anyway it's time to bring all these people in boy we got a ton of them too wait a minute hold on a second let me say admit all. There we go. Here they come. Oh, it's like a oh, it's a it's a it's an attack. Uh let's see here. We got Marjorie Miller. She happens to also play the part of my wife on this program. Uh and uh there's uh there's Charlie. What what's the hey. what did you say today? It's weird being the same age as old people. Yeah, you <laughs> oh, I've seen that one. <laughs> And Look then, at mine. Look at mine. Course, there is Mike Chisholm. Hello, Mike. Peace and love, everybody. Nice to see you. Yeah. And uh, uh, we have John Ewing. John, good to see you here. And, of course, the lovely voice that launched a thousand ships <laughs> that is Edward Berger. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Len LaFrisco, back from wherever you were last week. <clears throat> Francine, you weren't here last week either. Where were you? Everybody has to make excuses here. to me. What? I was here. Francine was here. Okay. I was here. I can submit a full report. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, and uh, 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 oh, uh, hey, look who, look who's there. Our old friend Andrew Deutsch. Andrew. Yes. Hi there. <laughs> and of <laughs> course, Jeff. Yeah. See the are, view? Are, are, are you in Maine still? Or are you uh, take a look at my picture? Huh? What yeah. do you see behind me? It, well, I don't know that that's Maine. I've that's never... Maine, and that's the ocean there. Oh, oh that's the ocean. Yeah. Okay, all right. Mm. Nice. Yeah. And yeah, Paula's back this trees. week. Hi, Paula. Hello, I'm back. And Vernon Nunn is here. Wow, this is a gangbang of people, and here comes Brian Neary. I don't think you use the proper definition of the word gangbang. I'm just no. saying. <laughs> and you're also not supposed to say gangbang after you say none. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what this is. Tough line. Uh, let me, after I say none. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the old Cheech and Chong, the only meat a priest gets on Friday is none? You have no light on your face, face, Brian. I know. Thanks for We'll have none of that. We have no audio either. Your no. audio is very low. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Richard Brian's in the witness protection program as well. It's good. <laughs> He's ready to tell start telling some secrets. This is gonna be great. Right. They just want to tell anybody who he is. Wait a minute. He'll turn on the light here. He'll turn on some kind of light. Or if you just lower you have blinds on those windows now. Yeah, Close the blinds, blinds yeah. It's just lower the blinds. blinds. Not in that. <laughs> that window isn't important. It's the other one. It's the other one. There's no it, blinds it, there. there I don't blind. know. Where, where'd he go? He's no, oh, that <laughs> blind, but we need the other blind. It's got to go. Get it right, man. The other blind. <laughs> where, are you, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> No, but you see, it's the one right in back of you that's dark. The other one that you, do you have blinds on the other one want light? Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go. That better? Are we doing campfire that stories? Better. Yeah. <laughs> now turn your volume up a you little tell, bit. Too. Tell me about ghosts in California. <gasps> oh, well. How's everybody doing? How, how, how did I become the center of entertainment this morning? What? 
How did I become the center of entertainment this morning? How's that? <laughs> <laughs> that better? Yeah, it's better. That's much better. No, yeah. stand on one foot. And yeah, you still look like you're in the <laughs> witness protection program, but that's okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm about to sneeze here. Hold on. God bless you. So, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. So, <laughs> why, why are you putting a picture up there of uh, me next to J Joe Biden? <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's finally found something to do with his time. <laughs> you know something joe biden in the last couple of years has reminded me of one of those guys yeah <laughs> oh yeah the, the um jeff what's it? jeff dunham's puppet yeah <laughs> yeah walter right, <laughs> right? There it is. yeah or me anyway <laughs> be nice be nice to joe he's oh here is he into retirement here is he did a great job Oh. Is that son of Jeff? Who is that? That is. <laughs> I am not a boy. Oh. <laughs> I can't tell. I couldn't tell. It was a little uh, blurry. So that's all right. You, you wanted right. to hear some. Oh, there we go. Of course, that's a female. That's my daughter. That's your daughter. Oh. We've never had your daughter on the show. Oh. I've been on before. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's a Jeff daughter. So. That's a Jeff daughter. Yes. Uh huh. Is she the youngest? I am the middle one, if you count Andrew. If you count, An what, what, you can't count Andrew? Well, I mean, we have to count him, I guess. Now, who is <laughs> here? Back of you. How dare this you not count me? This is my daughter. This is my oh. oldest, Samantha. So that's oh. granddaughter. Yep, yeah. Jeff's grand. my grandpa. <laughs> my pop-pop. Your pop-pop? Yep. Yeah, yep. Well, I never, I never had any granddaughters. You know why? Right. Granddaughters. In fact, I never had any sons. Have a son. Marjorie, why don't we have a kid? Let's have a kid. <laughs> Ready to get pregnant? Well, name a religion after me. Uh, do you, have, <laughs> you could do a kind of in vitro thing, you know. No, that's illegal now. Any of you guys want to be sperm? Oh, man. Stores, uh, <laughs> Max, I guess that makes you a childless cat lady. Oh, yeah. this is for you. Thank Hi, Marjorie. <laughs> Hi. Well, we will be, she will be a cat lady in a few days, won't you? We're babysitting. We're yeah. babysitting the cat. Yeah. Nice. Which it's, it's it, it, we're going to have her for five days. So for three of those, she'll be a ghost. Yeah. yeah. And then right. That's those, right. They'll be all over. It's the disappeared. Yeah, they're scared. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I, I would like to say that for a change, I understand Charlie's T-shirt, <laughs> and I agree with it. <laughs> We're sure. Being the same age as old people. <laughs> That's right. That's, That's correct. Uh, say it for me. Um, uh, That's right. There we go. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. So, uh, uh, it, it, you know, uh, I, uh, I don't, uh, we don't talk about uh, politics on this show much, but it's such an exciting time. All of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, it's an exciting race. Before we were going, oh my God, what's happening here? <laughs> These two old farts, and I can say that I'm 84. I can put down old people. Okay. Now, let's face it. Old people have one thing going against them. What is it, Marjorie? I'm. 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 I'm what? Well, <laughs> that, that's <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to have for dinner? I'm not sure, though. What? I said I'm not that great at lip reading, but I think you were saying erectile dysfunction. Is that? Is that <laughs> no, no. It's, it's, you got it wrong. Right now, it's electile dysfunction. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I like that. Good one. Good one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen through the earphones. It's easier for me. Yeah. 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 Where's Charlene? Yeah. Where is Charlene? Where is Charlene? She's not here today. Huh. Uh -oh. I got one more. And no Mandy. Oh man. Oh, there you go. <laughs> wow. Who is this one more? Hello. The whole family's there. I'm Molly. Well, Hi, can we, count, we can't. We can we count the two people in with Jeff? I guess we can. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out. Okay. Is that oh, Jeff, move in, move in closer. 
Is that another well, granddaughter? The other way, the other way. Push pop pop out of oh, the you're way. Supposed to, yeah, the <laughs> pop has to come back. All right, All right. please. You pop out. Out. There we go. All right. Very nice. There we go. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. Anyway, That's so. Good. Uh, and so anyway, I, I don't know, it's just, it's just, I've been feeling so uh, kind of excited for the first time in, in this race, you know, um, it just, there's so much excitement and uh, stuff building around it. Not I just love watching him panic. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's proper shot and fright. <laughs> Getting joy out of his destruction. I got to tell you, somebody mentioned the other day, the street bully the school bully, rather, yeah. is a bully as long as somebody lets him. Yep. And then yeah. when he suddenly has somebody that he can't bully, he doesn't have any power. Doesn't anymore. know what to do. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. know what to do. And uh, now he's suing. Huh? He's suing uh, the Justice Department. <laughs> he's suing. What's he suing the Justice Department for? They came into Mar-a-Lago and found all those documents. He's that he stole to sue. from the United States. Yeah. Yeah, you he's know, threatening to sue. Uh, I think it's New York Times for fact checking yeah. his nonsense about the helicopter story. Yeah, well, yeah. He, he always threatens to sue, but there's something he doesn't do. He never sues. Oh, he does, and then he drops it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's he files. Yeah. yeah, he costs he costs people money to have to start to respond, and then yeah, he gets to the point to where he's going to have to actually spend money, and he drops it. He just likes mm -hmm. to he just likes to make people uncomfortable that way. Like he's ever paid a bill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, well, anyway, so uh, we uh, uh, otherwise we've just been doing nothing, right, Marjorie? You watch the That's Olympics? True. Yeah, Mar Marjorie watched the Olympics. No. Yeah. I'm glad it's over with. <laughs> Me too. Oh, I love it. I what was your favorite part? The break dancing? That crazy <laughs> Australian? <laughs> it's the Men's only thing I saw. Basketball was pretty good. Yes, yeah. it was. I bet next year, some of us thought to try to uh, get in that, the dancing. For so I can feel break, feel do you want to, Jeff? Can we go out for break dancing next time? Yeah, four years from now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Break dancing isn't going to be part of the uh, Los Angeles. Uh, it? Uh, It'd be break your hip dancing if you guys did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of the. They said the uh, rules should no be should old, old, you know. eighty years old. <laughs> what? What did you say? You should be uh, allowed to uh, dance at eighty years old. You have to be eighty years yeah. old. Yeah. Otherwise, you can't win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have the doctors standing by. Oh, guess who just arrived here? Oh, well. She fell down again. Huh? No, here she is. Mandy. Oh, there she is. We missed her last week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we missed her last We always yeah. miss Mandy when she's not here. You know, Jeff, you're you're right about the 80 plus dancing, but you don't want to do it because they've now outlawed those little tennis balls that go on my walker. <laughs> <laughs> against, it's against Olympic rules. Yeah. What was the verdict oh, on the Olympic? rule? Did anybody what? like the closing ceremonies? Or oh, what did you I think thought they were terrible. Well, the opening ceremonies were the worst. They weren't sacrilegious enough for Ooh. me. I didn't watch them. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Mike, what, what did you think? Oh, I, I was going to say exactly what Mark, I thought it was way better than the opening ceremonies. I thought it was like... Oh, the opening ceremony was terrible. It was, it was very French, and the idea with the Tom Cruise thing and all that, the handing off, and then the moving it to L.A., it was very American. I that was really terrible. Yeah, but I thought that was terrible because I wanted a French closing. Right. It took too long. I got a part of fries or waffles. And Instead, you know, that, you got an age old sorry, Tom Cruise. From, from every, every, every uh, 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 Olympics from here on in, you know who should be banned from every Olympics from here on in? Tom Cruise. No. Don't say Snoop Dogg. No. Don't say Snoop. Snoop Dogg. No. <laughs> there, was, there was too much Snoop Dogg. Okay? All the time. All, All the time. time. I, I, Lester Holt is doing his 630 news. And here's my interview with Snoop Dogg. Why? Because <laughs> Snoop I mean, Dogg is one of the coolest human beings walking the planet. Why? What does he do? He's only cool because he's the guy with the pot. 
Okay. <laughs> What's he actually famous for? I don't even know the guy. Which is illegal in France. I wonder how he was getting it. <laughs> oh, is pot illegal in France still? Yeah, wow. I looked. I looked at. Well, so much for je ne sais quoi. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, French. Somebody must have been supplying it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, so I mean, I just too much Snoop Dogg. I don't care. I don't care if Snoop Dogg is watching basketball. I don't care if Snoop Dogg is, you know, whatever. You know, we, what do we, I think he was hired by NBC to show up there. Yeah, and he's there, doing a couple shows. You know, he's why, doing a couple right? shows. Yeah. Yeah. The voice, the voice, and something yeah. else, I think. Yeah, he's got a new show. pumping up to get oh, viewership. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. That's no, all they talked about was SNL because it's SNL 50 this year. NBC was padding its viewership yeah. for things they have coming up with these Olympics in a big, yeah. big way. Yeah. You got to hand it to the 50th anniversary of SNL, SNL. Saturday Night Live, yeah. and the 40th year with no apparent good episode. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. I, by the way, if you didn't know, Alex, I won't be a cast member again this year. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I know you were wondering. Well, we wanted you to be. We th thought that would be cool. Yeah. You know. Be funnier than the ones that are on there. Yeah. Yeah. That show has I not got been, a bowl of rotten fruit. show has not here. been funny in forty years. Mm -hmm. I would agree. The news. It's the news is moments. the only thing. Uh, yeah. The only news. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the only thing. And and uh, sometimes, not all the time. Yeah, it's had its moments. There's been some funny stuff. I'm sorry. Okay, that including 40 years, you're including the Phil Hartman years. Hmm. The, Phil Hartman <laughs> Hartman. the Phil Hartman years because they were all mediocre. They it had those shows were only as good as the writing. Okay. Huh. And there's yeah. never they, they haven't had good right. writing on that show in years. 50 years. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> And you know, Lauren Michaels is kind of the uh, 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 what do you call her, our president? What's his name again? Uh, Biden. Joe Biden. Biden. Uh, Lauren Michael. <laughs> oh boy, am I going? The Willie Brown of. <laughs> he's he's, he's, he's the, the Gary Brown. No, he's the uh, he's he's the Biden of television now. It's time for him to go. You know. Still getting paid, huh? He's still getting yeah. paid. He sure is. He runs late night. He's uh, he <laughs> go too. Wow. He runs the Tonight Show. He runs the show after it. Late, he runs late Saturday night. night Live. Yeah, yeah. I can only see half of Jeffrey. What? I can only see half of Jeffrey. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, I'm mo moving over. Uh, maybe this, I'll. This show is. I'll come over to see you next week. How's this show. <laughs> come to your house. <laughs> this show is half Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd your granddaughter? Uh, I lost one. Where'd your granddaughter go? We didn't want to leave. He went to go shower. Off. <laughs> so, what, what, how's it been going in Maine? Get, <laughs> eating lots of lobster. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Are Absolutely you, the are best. You sick, sick of lobster yet? No. 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 Are there Not any yet. left in the water out there? <laughs> Plenty. We actually saw all of the ships come in with all the lobsters on their boats and dump them on this automatic machine. And there's a truck right there. They go out and they'll be in New York by tomorrow. Oh. You know, there was a time when, when I lived in California where you just didn't get lobster no. because it took too long for it to get out yeah. there. And lobster turns after a certain point, mm -hmm. even if it's still alive. And um, sure. But lately, they can get them out there really fast. Yeah. You know, yeah, so you can buy lobster. Very well organized. But, but what you'd rather have here in California is Dungeness Crab. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, Lynn? Is there anything know. better than Dungeness Crab? Getting well, crabs in a dungeon. Right here. Huh? <laughs> Who else? Andrew. Is, who else is from California here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, John. Uh, well, John, you? Yeah, John. Yeah. Tell me. My, uh, my tell old father-in-law ran Crushy Brothers on the wharf in San Francisco. Really? And he would barter with, you know, everybody in the city, politicians and casino operators up in Tahoe, but we always had fresh crab when I was married to his daughter. No longer. Mm, nice. Oh, okay. 
Well, uh, I had a girlfriend who she and her husband started a, a fish business on Fisherman's Wharf selling wholesale fish. You know, Sorry. I called her the fish princess. That was the name I gave her. Did I hear correctly? You got crabs from his daughter? <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting. Just, just clarification waiting that, question. Right? I was waiting. You yeah. know, that was a pretty cheap place to go. Andrew. Uh, I, I've heard about, you said something about getting crabs in a dungeon. Yeah, it's right there. I figured you started it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had scallops for lunch today. <laughs> yes, oh. the 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 <laughs> the uh, the dungeonous crab, the dungeon crab, yes. come with a ball gag in their mouth. It's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. smell of leather. What? Now you see, Jeff's Jeff yeah. granddaughter's on. Please, guys. Francine, <laughs> Francine is New York, right? Francine, yeah, always yeah. been New York, right? Well, I lived outside for about 13 years. I lived in, Bu in Buffalo, and I lived in Vermont. Okay. So. okay, but you lived on the East Coast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. have, have you ever had Dungeness mm -hmm. Crab? No. See? Now, John Ewing, you had Dungeness Crab? Absolutely. How about you, Len LaFrisco? Of course. See? Anybody else here from, no, from the uh, West Coast? No. But I'm Ryan. 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 <laughs> Yes. Brian, yes. Brian, yes. Brian, Brian near you. Yes. Can you see me? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Uh, but Mandy showed up, and so I was paying attention to her. Yeah, Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. We know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you, 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 the only one working today. Just, just let you remind you. The only yeah. thing today is it a holiday? No, I have a couple weeks. I have a couple weeks off. Oh, do you really want to get settled into your new digs and stuff or no uh car week monterey car week is this week the big oh. car show in the world and then um I'm going to vegas next week so what do you do are when you bringing one of your cars hey will you explain to marjorie why we should go to vegas for at least three days you shouldn't oh. yeah. <laughs> I'm not. it's a dumb why do I go to Vegas? Well, I think it's the silliest city in the world. Yeah. You know, I mean, where else can you drive down the street and there's the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> Paris. Paris. Well, that Eiffel Tower is 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 three times taller. Yes. But this is the third of the height of the actual Eiffel Tower, which ain't bad, you know. <laughs> And then, my, uh, how about uh, how about uh, what do you call it? like is a castle? How about a pyramid? You, you, you get you oh, get yeah. a pyramid as you drive down the street. You've got the Statue of Liberty as you drive down the main drag in uh, in in Vegas. That's to me that's silly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I used to go there and spend five days because we would do uh, the uh, uh, CBS show. Uh, with when I was working with uh, with uh, Play Incorporated, and uh, that was really incredible, you know, because uh, uh, after the third day, you want to kill yourself. <laughs> yes, five, that's been tested. Five days <laughs> is too much. Way too much. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. yeah have Three you days ever, is pushing it. Mandy, you ever been to Vegas? See, She's oh been, yeah, yeah. See, she went. <laughs> Looking for is tacky. Uh, yeah. Tacky is the best term. <laughs> and you used to be able to get a deal there. You can't get a deal anymore. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you you can if you if you book like the hotel in a couple months ahead of, in advance, you can. Yeah. Really? I mean, I, I, I like, guess, yeah. Yeah. We're going we're going with some friends from with my some of my friends and they're we're, they're gonna go Bruno Mars and all that stuff. So but we booked like two months in advance and I got a huge suite overlooking the view and everything for like a thousand dollars. Like four How days. How many days? Three, three days? days. And a big, yeah, but I booked like two or three months ago. And it's a big suite. It's a huge. Yeah. How, how many rooms? How many rooms? I think two rooms. Two rooms, but it's a huge entertainment area with outside and all the view. Awesome. Yeah. Are they is Bruno Mars playing at the sphere? 
Uh, no, 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 no. no. He's and playing. He has a residency somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what hotel is it? This one we're staying at, I think, is the Hard Rock. The Hard, hard Rock. rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not, they're building a new one. Mirage. The Mirage. They're changing into a new Hard Rock. Also. Right. The Mirage is changing its name. Oh, they closed. Yeah. 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 yeah they they're closing. Tropicana, they closed because they're going to build the ballpark, I think. Wait a minute. They, they, well, why did why they close a casino? I mean, the only people... Because have, nobody goes there anymore. Well, the only the only person I've heard have to sell a casino is Donald Trump. Yeah. You know? I mean, how, never you, you don't... How, you, do you lose money owning a casino? No, it needed to be... Uh -huh. It was all run down. They're, they're replacing yeah. the new fresh one. They're not closing it down. They're... Yeah. Right. You know, you think of the Mirage. Isn't that the one with the dancing waters and everything? Yeah. That's Bellagio. Bellagio. It's Bellagio. It's Tigers. Bellagio. <laughs> the Mirage is... It's they old. was boy and I, I never six, six, every, six, every, every six, time six, every time I went to Vegas, I never saw the Mirage. Why? Because it, it's, yeah. Mirage. it's Mirage. It's not really there. <laughs> it's not there. That was that was the first one I ever went. That was the first place I stayed at in like Me too. In yeah. open. Me too. and it was the big deal. And they had the Tigers, Siegfried and Roy. Yeah, right, Siegfried and Roy. Right. I saw Freaks. I saw that show back in the nineties. That was great. Yeah. yeah. You thought it was great. Yeah, it was wonderful. Why not? I think I saw it in the late 90s, and by that time, they were tired of doing it. Oh, uh, well, that's possible. We, did, no. we went early. They, yeah. It would come out, to begin with, uh, who was it? I think it was, yeah, it was Siegfried did no work at all. He just pointed. Who's the one that got bit by one of the cats? It was Roy. Roy that did all the work, and he nuzzled Roy? the tigers, and then the tigers mauled him, and, you know. Was it Roy that was mauled? Well, yeah, yeah. Roy, Roy that was mauled. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I thought it was a terrible act by then. I, I, I thought it was just it's just a lot of pointing. Oh look, Roy's with the tiger, and it, and it looked like Siegfried didn't want to get near any of them. Well, for good reason. Ew. <laughs> I'm I'm the Siegfried of this this day and age. I don't want to get near a tiger. You know. <laughs> so anyway, I got to turn up the air conditioner. It's getting hot in here. It always You're thinking of Siegfried. What? You're thinking of Siegfried. He got you, got you hot in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're both dead, aren't they now? Yep. I think they both died. Yeah. Yep. Siegfried and Roy. No, yeah. I think only one died. Yeah, I think the other guy died too. Wait a minute. Like wait a minute. Uh, are both Sig Echo, are both Siegfried and Roy dead? <laughs> oh, Siegfried is still alive. Really? Uh, he's the one that didn't mess with the cat. The, there was <laughs> there was the positive value of not wanting to get near any of the tigers, you know. But uh, anyway, so uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, we're we're thinking. He's dead. Huh? So Siegfried died in 2021, January 13, 2021. Uh, okay. All right. Siegfried <laughs> died? Yep. Uh, Roy was 2020 and he was 2021. Wait, 75 wait, and hold 80. on a second. <laughs> Echo says Siegfried is still alive. Echo can uh, Echo's a lion. On, <laughs> me, she leaves a sheltered life. She didn't know. Did you, did, did, you say, did you say Echo or did you say Donald Trump? Answer the question. <laughs> Echo, are Siegfried and Roy still alive? Yeah. According to an Alexa Answers contributor, Siegfried is still alive and Roy died in May of 2020. Okay. According, Roy, according to Truth Social, Siegfried, Siegfried is still alive. On Truth Social, it says Siegfried went down in a helicopter with uh, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> After he won the election. Uh, <laughs> And, and, and weirdly got the crabs. <laughs> Full circle story today. By the way, wasn't that the best of uh, Trump telling the story about him almost oh. crashing in a helicopter, helicopter. with Brown? Yeah. Well, it's like, difficult to tell Willie Brown and Jerry Brown apart. They're... It was no, it was right, right, right. Yeah. It wasn't like, even Jerry like, Brown. Like, it was a different. Like, <laughs> no, but it was. He was on a helicopter viewing the fire with Jerry Brown and Gavin Newsom. 
never rode in a helicopter with Willie Brown, who in his head he had to bring up so he could defame Kamala Harris. Yeah. He couldn't remember the the other guy who he mistook for Willie Willie Brown because he had similar skin tone, although he's a foot taller. <laughs> Maybe it was Charlie pure, Brown. Was pure dementia. <laughs> the reason and he wanted to defame uh, Willie Brown, of course, because Willie Brown happened to have been Kamala's boyfriend for a while. Right. He wanted yeah. to mention him so he could defame, he make up a lie to defame yeah. her. But at the end of the day, people with dementia mix up faces, mix yeah. up stories into one, fantasies that they had. Because according to Gavin Newsom, when they were flying over the fires, he was saying how scared he was because with the fires, the, the helicopter could go down. So all of that merged into one story yeah. of this demented little orange pea of a brain. Well, it would be a sh it would be a wonderful thing if something went down on it. <laughs> Melania's not. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> and now that Epstein's gone, how's he going to find someone? Right. So, Mike, how's everything up in uh, up in Canada? I always have to ask for a Canadian report. Uh, steady as she goes. Things, things seem to be things seem to be working well. Um, you know, I know it's not a political show, but I watched the John Oliver last night, and uh, and, and and it was a really really great article they did on um, or not article, but but segment they did on Tim Walls. Did you guys? Did anybody ever watch that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. hysterical. I thought that was that was amazing. And then uh, I learned a lot about Hawaii last night. Other than that, nothing new in Canada. Yeah. Well, I've I've always. Oh been... no, wait have something sorry alex i do have something oh, oh okay okay so, got something this show may become interesting go ahead <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait let's take some bets and see i mean you know there's a rule against anything really happening on this show <laughs> okay. no okay. pressure mike no uh, pressure okay. mike go no pressure okay. go go wild do you know a comedian named hugh fink I know the name you think. Now, I'm trying to remember what he looked like or where he was or whether he ever did my show. I don't think he ever did my show. But anyway, oh, you think. All right. All right. He's on the Letterman podcast. I'm recording with him tonight because he appeared four times on Late Show and he's from Indiana and, and, and all that. So he's coming on Letterman podcast. But you are friends with him on the Facebook, but you are with thousands of other comedians as well. So right. I didn't right. know if you knew him well or, or, or not. I don't, I don't remember you think that well. Okay. Yeah. But then at that point, I, I bet, no, I bet if you're a big, if you're the Letterman guy, you know, I bet, yeah. I bet Geller can answer this question. What, oh, comedian, no. about what, comedian, comedian, appeared, yeah, early what comedian appeared the most times on the Letterman show? On yeah, on the Letterman show, both, you know, the night, uh, both NBC and CBS, most times. Norm Macdonald. No, nope. I'm going with I'm going with Marty Short. Nope. Gilbert Brown. Brown. Godfrey? I don't know. Nope. Something like 34 times is Ooh, wow. the estimate. Jake Johansson. Oh, really? Oh, really? Wow. I would never have guessed that. Wow. That guy's still alive or is he with six? <laughs> <laughs> in the in the dungeon getting crabs. No, but uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jake Johansson, and he, he probably holds the record for being on my radio show too. You know, he he would show up for a bris. You know, so he was hilarious. <laughs> he, no, he, actually, he was very good. Yeah. He, he there were many. He always was changing his persona though throughout his career. He constantly was changing his persona. But I always like I like Jake. He was a good guy, good guy. I'm uh, I'm seeing Greg Proops this weekend. He's in the whose line is it anyway? Is coming through our town here, so we're gonna go see it. Right on. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and Greg is doing the tour. Is that what's happening? I assume. Yeah, he and a couple others. Yeah. Yeah. Who else is in? Time there. to call. Time to call Alex. <laughs> yeah, I will. Well, Proops <laughs> did do this show for a while. All the yeah. all the time. It, I remember early on. Yeah. yeah. And then somehow we to call Alex. We lost a little. We lost uh, communication or whatever, and I just haven't had him back on. But you know, I should actually ask him to do the show. You know? Yeah, I agree. Yes, yeah, it's been a while. I've never met him. So. Uh, yeah, let's have Mike on again. <laughs> what? Did the, one, did the one I was going to ask you, Alex? Was Tom Green ever on your show? Tom Green, no. 
Okay. Looks like I'm getting him for the Letterman podcast. We've been trading back and forth this morning too, but well, I, but I don't Tom, know if you Tom don't... Green, Tom Green, man, he just had a minor career. You think? Oh yeah, you're, you're in the states. Yeah, you annoyed hmm. the shit out of people. Yeah, <laughs> there were Canadians <laughs> I knew. I'm trying to remember the name of one of them who who would go to Europe. They had no success here. Okay. You know, they did okay. I mean, they did a few shows here and there, and maybe you know the name, maybe you don't know the name. And then they go to Europe, like someplace like Holland, and they become a star in Holland on television. I knew a guy who had his own series, and I think it was Holland. And he, really? yeah, he made millions. He was doing incredible. He couldn't catch cold over here. <laughs> joke about being big in Japan. Tom Waits wrote a song about it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the, I mean, the cheap trick was nobody, and they did the live at the Budokan and became one of the top acts for years. That's yeah. right. Yeah, uh, there's yeah. so many, there's so many of these heavy metal bands. They're huge overseas, and in the U.S., they couldn't sell a ticket. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was well, always a joke. You know, well, I'm big in Japan. Yeah, there's no question about it. But I mean, I'm trying to remember the name of the comic now. But he went over there, and he did incredibly. And then all of I don't know what happened. He suddenly wasn't doing incredibly anymore. So he came back here. But, and if I said his name a lot, he might not even know who he is. But uh, that happens, you know, they get very popular somewhere else. So don't say his name three times. No, <laughs> won't do that. I have no desire to do that. So what have you been up to, Mandy? Anything? Um, uh, well, I've just been. Um, like a couple weekends ago, like moved everything out of my mom's apartment and just doing stuff like that Ooh. and just kind of organizing my house. I didn't, she didn't really have a lot of stuff, but, uh, I've just kind of been organizing. I did go see, uh, the Wolverine Deadpool. Oh, yeah. We watched it. Yeah. yeah right. And then I actually started watching, um, because of, well, my, my boyfriend watched it by himself, but he's watching it again. It's that show Fallout. I I watched it. I I can't decide whether I liked it or not. And I don't think I watched it at the very end. Oh, um, you didn't? I no. thought you watched the whole thing and and thought thought you liked it. I I watched part of it. I liked it. I yeah, I saw the whole thing. I'm right. It, I did. Uh, it ended in cliff. Really, one of those kind of shows. But he was like, it really is good. And I've watched two episodes, so I kind of like it. We've been well. watching the weirdest show. I think we ever watch, right, Marjorie? Yeah. We like it, right? But it's weird. It's strange. But it's weird. Tin Star. Anybody seen Tin Star? Mm -mm. Oh, that was ages ago. It's on Amazon. Yeah, it's been, it's got it about good. three seasons. It's, it's, very, it's very good, but it's very strange. You know? You know I think like, it's good all the way through, if I remember right. It's been a while. I mean, the first episode opens up with somebody killing his kid. Ew. You know. How is that? Oh, they, oh, no. This isn't the one where the kid disappears. Or actually, he actually gets murdered. Yeah. Oh, um, one, yeah. 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 I'm re, I'm re watching Boston Legal. Oh, a that was a good show. That's a Shatner show, right? Yeah. 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 He, he, he wasn't allowed to sell clothing anymore. No one wanted to buy Shatner pants. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's my question. Are you actually later, right? Boston Legal, or did you just want to make that joke? No, I've been watching it. Do you have a shot in your head? No, I in it later. I in it like in the third or fourth season. I had a joke. I had a joke years ago that went uh so what what is the guy, star trek's last name and they say shatner i said is that the past tense shatner is still alive yeah, yeah he's 97 or something like that i just I heard him in an interview recently you know who else is still alive that show that show if if the if the gen z's were to discover it was on there they'd be protesting you get it off the air. Yeah. Do you know who? There, you there's know never who been more sexual harassment, misogyny. Yeah. TV show. Uh, no, it's no, funny. Wait a minute. You know who else is still alive? Alex you. Bennett is still alive. <laughs> 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 and I have a button for that. I just push it. <laughs> the best, the best thing in the Boston Legal 
Dave uh, Spader is is such a such a scumbag who's sexually harassing the secretary. So they 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 decide they have to get him someone new that he won't sexually harass, and they bring in Betty White as his assistant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, now crazy. somebody wrote here. Brian Reynolds writes both Siegfried and Roy are deceased per Wikipedia. So who's yeah. supposed to believe? Amazon. I remember them talking about it on the news. I know he's yeah. dead. Say, when, you, yeah. when your echo went, it said one of their users said they didn't. Yeah. Hear. Oh. It wasn't. Yeah. They didn't. It didn't get the information from a valid source like Truth Social. You know. Oh, where did they get? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was about to say that. I said, "Who did they get it from? Trump?" You know. Brian's a pretty reliable, also. Yeah. And how's the daughter, um, Adrian? Is her name Brian? She's good. She just started third grade, so she's doing good. Third grade. Um, she looks like she should be in in high school by now. <laughs> and you know, she's unfortunately she's followed me a little bit genetically with my. <clears throat> she's always she you know eats too many snacks, all that stuff. So now she's <laughs> sort of got a little bit control of her her food and stuff like this lately. So now she's getting skinny, and now she's looking even taller because of. Oh geez! Yeah. No, she's tall. She's a big girl. <laughs> you know, she's my baby, right? She's only not she's not even nine years old yet. So I'm holding hands with her down. You know, when we're going out the other day, and I'm like, this is starting to feel a little bit weird now because she's getting. She, we just she's she's four eleven. She's four eleven. Wow! Oh. I just I just I just measured her four eleven. Oh. She's almost five foot. I dated a girl one time was four eleven. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, taller than all the other girls in her class? She must be. Must oh be. yeah, she sense. Um, she's she's the ninety eight percentile height, you know, of her of her. Wow. Age. What do you and expect? Then, her, um, what do you expect her to top out at? I don't know. <laughs> if she's skinny, six foot is fine. But she gotta get gotta make sure she's thin, you know. Because I never dated girls over six foot. Because always got. Well, if she's tall and skinny. She could become a model. She could become a model. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. You're what? Yeah. Six four. You're six yeah, four. Yeah, I'm right six. Then? I'm six four. Yeah, and some guys I played basketball with, all their daughters are like in college, you know, with scholarships for volleyball and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. So she's really athletic. So she'll she'll do good. Yeah, she's smart. Very, very smart. Yeah. Oh no, she's gonna she's gonna do well for herself. You know. Yeah. And she's uh, she's uh, she's quite a, a ham too. You know. So she has my sense of humor. So what what can I say? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Vernon, how's everything down in Kentucky? How are the horses? Uh, well, I haven't I haven't checked in with them this week. No, because all I remember about uh, about uh, Kentucky was driving through it. And driving past one horse ranch after another. Yeah. You know. There are quite a few of them in the Lexington area. And between here and Lexington, there there are some also. Yeah. We I live in Louisville, so we're the biggest city. Lexington is kind well, of the second. Do they still second make largest. do they still make baseball bats there? Yes. Right mm -hmm. right downtown on Main Street. They have the Hillary Hillary Blad Bradsby bat factory. And they have nice tours and all that sort of thing. Uh, oh. They make yeah. the Louisville Sluggers? Yes, they still make the Louisville Slugger. And yeah. at the other end of Main Street is uh, Angel's Envy Bourbon Distillery. It's right across the street mm. from the baseball park. Oh, oh uh, wow. good combo. Baseball yeah. baseball bats and alcohol. Yeah, great yeah. combination. Good combination. Yeah. Yeah. Great combination. And Francine, how's the poetry going? It's going well, you know, I've been just uh, going to a lot of readings when it's not too hot and writing and, you know, nothing too exciting with it, but it's, it's, it's there, it's going on. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not exactly a profession that is, uh, makes you a lot of money, is it? Well, you know, I, I kind of am glad about that because I think there'd be a lot of bad poetry going on if it were, if people were <laughs> trying to sell it. Mm -hmm. You know, so I kind of like that idea that it's like, it doesn't matter if you sell it. It's just, you just have to sort of like try to be good. Yeah, it's just you're, you're writing for yourself more than anything else and trying to yeah. look better every time. Yeah. Yeah. 
So Marjorie, how's raising Alex going? How's that going for you? <laughs> <laughs> You're still learning, still getting around. Trial learning, it's very difficult. <laughs> well, she does treat me like it does she does treat me like her child. Alex, you have to go to physical therapy. What are you making? Yes. Your, making your appointment for physical therapy. Keep, keep up the good work, Margie. And now here he hasn't gone. You know, we're about ready to be joined by I know where you can get a Louisville you you our last minute man. Yep. Some alcohol. <laughs> here comes there he is. Here's Don. Last minute man. Yeah. Last minute Don. Last minute Don. What was the question? Know, we were ask moment him. Of clarity with it's, Don a visit, it's a visit from my friend Don Gillard. Oh. <laughs> we're ready the for longest, the longest comedian, right? Com all right. All right. Oh, yeah. Leno was on what? late night 40 times. Who? Leno? 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 Uh, Jake Johansson yeah. was on late night 18 times, on late show 25 times, total of 43. Huh. So Leno was more than more than Johansson. Well, on late night. But total, Jake has more. Leno's 40, Jake's 43. Wow. Jerry, Se Jerry Seinfeld was on late night 27 times, late show 24 times, total of 51. Oh. He's, more, he's more than Jake. Right. Martin Short was on late night 18 times, late show 41 times, total Whoa. of 59. Wow. Right. Now, if you're only counting stand-ups, mm -hmm. then I right. think Jake, Jake has it. Because all, all of his appearances were stand-ups. Yeah. And Don, all that information you have will be useless after this moment. Just to it, let you know. It, it, was, it, was, it was useless five minutes ago. <laughs> Before he said it. Can you I, write was, that down I, was, I was kind of right about Jake Johansson. He yeah. it did more stand-up than anybody else. Yeah, Jerry Seinfeld uh, on late night did 17 stand-ups and on late show 10 stand-ups. So a total of 27. But Jake is 43. Now, Brian Regan... On Love late show, Brian Regan. Yeah. Did, did 33 stand ups on late show. Yeah, that's amazing. Which, which, yeah. which is more than anyone else on late show. I love him. I think he's so, I don't know why he wasn't more famous. He's so funny, Brian Regan. Brian Regan uh, sells out arenas. He's doing fantastic. He's fantastic. Yeah. He's so, I went to see him at Caroline's, didn't stop crying for that whole set. That's, that's I'm so close to getting him on the Letterman podcast. I'm like this close. It's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll happen in the next six months, probably. Nice. Now with now with women, Carol Liefer uh, mm -hmm. had 26 stand ups on Late Night, which is more than Elaine Boozler, who had mm -hmm. 22, mm -hmm. and Paula Poundstone, who had 15. Well, th those were, those were the highest among the females, female comics. Yeah. Would you include Sandra? Or Sandra's less anyway. I think Sandra's less than that anyway. Yeah, and, and she's an idiot, so. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really what, feel, Dan. What about Joan oh, Rivers? What about um, Joan? She never did stand up. Oh. Uh, but let's let's did? see. Uh, uh, it's Sullivan. Okay. She did. Uh, ten times on Late Show. And. Mm -hmm. One time on late night. Really? Wow. Yeah. Mm. What else? Come on. Uh, 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 <laughs> Alex says okay, I'm, okay. On the, I'm on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> what about Steve Martin? How many yeah, pretty Martin? good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. 28 on late show. Whoops. Here we go. He has this all in a database. You must. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> the only man in the world who has this on a database. <laughs> and 10 on late night. So that's a total oh. of uh, 38. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know so, what? I want. I wonder if any of these people are on uh, YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. I, I mentioned Jake Johansson. How many here know who Jake Johansson is? Okay, more than I would expect. What did you mean? What do you mean on video? I, I, I've got all of Steve Martin's on a uh, as a collection on my YouTube. 
Yeah. Uh, Martin Short, I have everything on YouTube. Mm. Um, I think that's it. I'd, I'd wanted to do Jake Johan. Oh, and I've, I've got all of Jay Leno on, on, on my YouTube channel. You know what I hate the, about your channel, though, oh. is that I will be watching a, a compendium of something you did, okay? And then Dave does, and here's the Martin Short. And then Martin Short comes out and does his whatever Martin Short does. And then he says, and we'll be back with the president of the United States. You know, and I want to watch that. Oh. <laughs> and I can't because uh, you're only showing that piece. Yep. Well, <clears throat> I um, I'm working on getting the getting my channel in color. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to do Jake. I, I wanted to, I wanted to do Jake Jones Hanson, and I told him that on Twitter. Uh -huh. but time ran out, and I and I I, I never got to do it. Oh, because you can't. You're not doing any more. Yeah. Comp I also want to include all of his Tonight Show appearances, but that didn't happen either. Well, you're not doing compilations anymore, right? I'm not doing anything. You're anymore. not doing anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm posting. I'm posting Akagen Choir uh, performances. That's okay, I'm but on the other hand, uh, I've given you the rights to post everything Alex Bennett has ever done, and and you politely refused me. So. Uh, we I haven't can, signed can, anything. We haven't most, signed anything. I can be Alex impolite Bennett. if you'd like. <laughs> most of the Alex Bennett I, stuff we pick up on shortwave radio. <laughs> I was on shortwave. I was on shortwave. I know. It's still bouncing around out there. No, no, no. I was on shortwave on the, when I was with Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. I did a newscast every hour on the It went out by shortwave. Yeah, I got all that and they put a price on my head in China. <laughs> Ooh, uh, why? Because I was a propagandist for the United States. Well, didn't you go to China in the 80s or something? Y yes, I did. <laughs> they didn't know I was there. Oh, I, I guess not. That Bennett Schwarzman was, but Alex Bennett wasn't. Yeah. Ah, right. No, they, do, they do face recognition. Wait a minute. I used the name Bennett Schwarzman on the uh, Armed Forces Radio and Television Service because we had to. I couldn't mm. use Alex Bennett. I This is Navy Seaman Al Bennett Schwarzman. That's exactly <laughs> That's a mouthful for you. And by the time I said that, the speak. cast was over with. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, your mouth was full of semen. Andrew in three, two, one. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I didn't say that, Alex. You didn't. Say that. I was waiting. That was for someone you. else. Was that Lafrisco? No, it was, it, was, it was Andrew for sure. Cut him off. <laughs> I was too busy thinking of jokes about dating the short girls and just being nuts over them. Oh no! <laughs> being nuts over them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you want more women on this show? <laughs> yeah, I wonder why there's no women on here. Right? No, humor is going down. We have three women up. Uh, four women today, so you know. It's pretty good. I'm glad someone had the ovaries to bring that up. We always oh. kid Giller about the stack of, of stuff he's got in back of him. And we're trying to kind of get it smaller. So just pick anything out of the stack. Anything. Right about there is nice. I'm, I'm more curious who's buried underneath what it. What you got? What you got? Yeah. Long <laughs> Beach. It's a Long Island Railroad schedule. Right. 1979. <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. Finally, somebody worse than me. Alex, well, I love when did your new Edward season of Hoarders uh, start, to, start to air? I, I had that for a very personal reason that I'm not going to discuss here. Oh, okay. I love how Edward Berger called that immediately. He immediately knew what it was. That was fantastic. Uh, 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 a long out of the limo schedule from 1979, and he nailed it immediately. That's right. <laughs> Berger's very good at that stuff. Yeah. Very good at trivia and stuff like that. You know, uh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm surprised sometimes when you say stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll say the stuff about Don's is pretty good because, like, a good example is the Bob Rubin stuff, the, the Pee Wee Herman stuff. And <clears throat> when you see the first one, the first time he was on Letterman's show, compared to as you can see, you can see him progress into Pee Wee Herman and then how confident and how, you know, he would just be out there with, with, 
Dave. It's pretty really cool to see how that progression was from his first times on there. He was very nervous and trying to work things out. And then by the end, man, he was just, you know, on point going out there. And, and, and totally. Dave getting more and more impatient with him. Out of, people, <laughs> yes. out of people who only did two appearances on the David Letterman show, which person has the longest time between performances? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Excuse oh, me while I, I whip this out. Uh, uh, Mike, do you have it happen to know? No, I'm, I'm racking my brain, but I can't. Okay, it's Larry Bubbles Brown. Ah, oh, really? really? That would have been my guess. Larry was Brown gonna, appeared on Letterman, on Letterman and had a killer set. He was told by the then producer, Bob Morton, please, uh, when you get another five minutes that you perfected for TV, get a hold of me. Let's put you back on again. They were very happy with it. 20 years later, he <laughs> nine years later, nine years late night, August 4, 1987. His next appearance was on Late Show, January 30, 1996. Jeez. Okay. Okay. My guess was Oprah. Where are we at with Oprah? <laughs> well, you no, know, she when was her first appearance with Exactly. 87, that the anniversary special, 87 was it? And then was it 2000 whatever it was when she showed up again? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, her first appearance was on the it was on the January 13, 1986. 86, okay. And then 89 in Chicago. Yeah. Okay. And that's then, one thing. And, and then December 1st, 05. So that's, wow, uh, that's a 14. long time. What about, what about Harvey P. Carr? He was 16 on years. 16 years. years. Those two. Okay. Don, Harvey P. Carr was on how many times? Here we go. Da 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 da. Okay, well the the thing flying everybody, so we'll say goodbye. It's it's not that extreme. Um, he was on seven times on late night and once on late show. The 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 last uh uh the eighty six, eighty seven, eighty seven, seventy seven, eighty seven, eighty eight, ninety three, and ninety four. So that's only five years from 80 I, to 80. I used to I used to fight with that guy at the used record store when I was a kid. He was a family friend and he tried to grab records out of my hand when I was getting vinyl for myself. Yeah, I got the scars. Still have the scars. <laughs> he was nuts. Yeah. Well, that's quite a list you got there, uh, Don. You know I live alone. I know. <laughs> Are you sure she's not buried under that pile behind you? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I, think I see a foot. We don't wonder why. <laughs> Don, Don, pull something else out of the pile. Jeez. Uh -oh. so we're, trying to make, we're trying to make that pile smaller, but every time he pulls something out, he puts it right back in. Say, he puts it's it right not back. the same place. <laughs> What's, what's going to happen to that when you're gone? Oh, I, I know what the I'm problem sure. is. He, I, I bet he can't. Got, I bet he can't it, find something that isn't porn. I bet. Got, Don, uh, make, make sure. <laughs> Don, well, make got, sure you put everything in your will, all that stuff to Alex Bennett. <laughs> he's got, he's got Don, Donald Trump's SAT scores in there. Mm -hmm. okay, I, I do have something here. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's he's looking for it. He he knows what he's looking for. Boy, there's a lot of people here today, by the way. Thank you all. Cool. Yeah. Thank uh, you. So there's 12, uh, there's 12, 13, 14, Jeff, 15. what's your background? Is that a lake back there or Jeff? The ocean. The the ocean. ocean. Oh, yeah, I'm in, uh, it's I'm in Maine, right by the ocean. Oh, wow. <laughs> It'd be fun if you could look out your window and see the other ocean, and then we would have <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> this thing. Right here. There's the ocean. Uh, yeah. Uh, the wait, uh, did you find Here something? Done. Hey, Don, we only got a couple of about a minute here. We got that ain't my problem. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. <laughs> oh, I was I was gonna find what the first lease. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> On the cave. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, uh, here it is. Oh, what, what was your first lease for that apartment? Yeah. What year was it? Oh, 70, my gosh. 79, 1979. 99. It was tight. 99. 
79. That's from a typewriter. Is it 79? Yeah. Yes. 79. Yeah. So that's Not how much years. Is that the last time you saw the sun? 329. <laughs> Security deposit. Wow. And it, it's, it's only one page that's long. President. Wow. Yeah. But they still have to live by that lease, don't they? As the as yeah. as the lease that you base everything else on. I'm still paying 329. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, his, depo his deposit's still 329, right? Yeah. They, oh, they can uh, increase your deposit as you go. I, I'm playing th paying 329. Uh, hey, have a talk. In huh? Canada, when you give a deposit, they're supposed to keep that on file and it's supposed to grow interest over the years. Is that yeah. yes. Well, yeah, he, yeah, I'm yeah. sure if he cashed it in, they'd have to give it to him. Us, yeah, yeah. you're on the bank. Yeah, it's I not big. I've seen you could write a poem about this. I'm still gonna... <laughs> I, I have Shecky's okay. lease if you want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he willed you? <laughs> yeah, just and the it, lease, it, none it. of the contents. Just the I just noticed it's time to go here. Wow, we've had fun, it's and it's nothing fun. went on. Nothing. <laughs> nothing went on for an hour. Nothing. It's a show about nothing. Come on. Yeah, right. it, it could work. It could work. It could work. It could work. <laughs> Counting Jeff's daughter and granddaughters, we probably had a new record. That's three other That's people. Right. It's it's people, yes. Yeah, so we got uh, we got uh, uh, except fifteen plus three. That'd be eighteen. Although we had eighteen oh. a couple of weeks ago. We had eighteen. I think. I got three. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I tell you, everybody applaud at the same time. Let me feel I have an audience. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, Take, it's, night. Take you, a night, Gracie. Yeah, when you clap, though, it, it unclaps somebody else, and it never comes out sounding like uh, 18 people clapping. Or <laughs> Anyway, Marjorie, thank you so much. What's for, what's for dinner? It's a surprise. I know. <laughs> you know what she means by surprise? It's called leftovers. Um, anyway, uh, and thank you, Charlie. Hey. And thank you, Mike Chisholm. And thanks to Mr. Ewing for being here today, all the way from uh, Petaluma, California. Uh, uh, Len LaFrisco, great having you here every time. And it, it's wonderful seeing that beard. And uh, um, uh, Francine, a delight. Absolutely. Uh, and I uh, want to thank the lovely and attractive uh, 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 Andrew Deutsch, who <laughs> is part of the world. Jeffrey Stein. Oh, that's just beautiful out your window there. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. And uh, nice. oh, by the by the way, we're watching a show that's Tin Star. We decided we want to move to Alberta, Canada. <laughs> Man, is that gorgeous up there? Yeah. It is just breathtaking. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much, Paula. Good having you here. Wonderful. Uh, and Vernon Nunn, good having you here as well. Uh, Brian Neary, uh, 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 great to see you getting in your new digs and in, you seem to be enjoying them, you know. And you get to go to your auto shows. Mandy, always the best, you know. I'm sorry I missed the whole show. I was sitting here talking to this person that just started last week and <laughs> describing the whole brief history of this to her. Oh, <laughs> tear laughter in the background. So now I've got to have to go back and watch the show. <laughs> well, we just in, we just love having you there. You know, it, it, you were not there last week and we missed you. Yeah, because I had this person start, so I was very busy with her. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Don Giller, if you never call again, I won't care. <laughs> that's right. Okay. That's right. Okay. What what's in Time Magazine? What, the... what Time Magazine is it? Time Weekly <laughs> Magazine. Is this the one on the day you were born or something? The, the, the week I was conceived. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you showed that the other Who's night, right? Oh, wait a wow. minute. Quickly. Anybody know who that is? Quickly. Bill Show Brenner. Huh? Oprah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Daryl F. Zanuck. Daryl Zanuck. Oh. Does it need to make a good like. make a good picture? So, just yeah. ask Marvel that question. Anyway, thank you all for being here, and of course, we uh, we are going to finish off the show with the immortal words of uh, of Edward Berger, who says, "That's all, folks." 
Bye, everybody. Bye. See you next week. This has been wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Love you guys.